due for a second service of my bike BMW R1250 GS here is my bike I'm on the way to Manchester Motor Road so when I rang them last week they told me come today 9 o'clock in the morning in Manchester so then they will do the servicing they offer me a courtesy bike I don't know which one they are going to give me if I can get an RT I will do a quick review on the RT because GS I done the reviews before so if I get a GS they told me they have GS in stock let's see which one they are giving so I got a, a RT this is the one the blue one um, looks nice 72 plate let's see how it's going let's go to the top of the hill ah it's nice sound I never used this kind of mirror before was well, going up now the screen I let me put the windshield down I don't want this high yeah it's coming to the face yeah let's leave it there I don't know anything about this bike it's nice yeah I would say the first thing the gear gear is so smooth Uh, seating position is comfortable on mine definitely it's not that the seat is not comfortable but it's the position yeah. foot pack is just uh, blocking my left leg when I'm putting it on the floor more sporty sound and more sporty on acceleration than the GS my GS has got a wide handle so that's nice and wide so comfortable Two hundred and twenty-nine miles already done with this bike. It's pretty new. It's a demo bike here. Yeah, it's smooth. See, so easy you can control the height of your uh, uh, windshield. But so you can look over. I prefer to look over, and not look through that, because uh, you know when you look through the glass, you can get a different uh, a blurred vision, maybe. Good for a long touring, to be honest, yeah. Look at that massive uh, instrument console. So huge, man, so huge. Everything is about technology these days. The gear selection is a little bit smoother than my GS. Yeah, this is terribly stopping me, my footrest. I feel like and I'm unsafe with that one probably my little short legs may be causing this trouble if you have a bigger legs longer legs might be okay then it may affect the sitting position but the footrest little bit no right for me and you keep your foot on the top of the footrest is okay it's only when you're stopping I feel like I have to use my both legs now because it's just in case you know I have to be extra careful. Yeah, compared to my GS, is uh, power base is. Uh, I don't feel any difference. It's actually the sound or a bit sporty feeling. That's all. Um, screen goes up and down nicely. It gives you clear wind protection. It's actually nice. I like it. But it's not my sort of windscreen anyway you feel like you're sitting behind a big screen you know that sort of feeling but let's take uh, take the wind off but if it's in a low position it will come to your face Sorry, I'm only five feet seven so if it's in a low position it will come to your helmet but if you 
use a full face helmet doesn't matter or in a high position you are fine with any now I just got a little bit more confident built on this bike and used to it if you're going for like um, a European trip this might be a good bike you know everybody have a different opinion the BMW definitely consider all the safety features into this comfort wise holding your hand wide is a bit more bit more relaxing position for me so basically we are turning right to A6 we're going to Buxton Sorry, the control panel is over here. It's basically the same as my GS. It just got this extra bit, which is uh, windscreen protection control. Um, that's all the extra. Then you got lights. Mm, I don't know what is there down there. Um, yeah, a few things. Simple, simple. If you're using a uh, GS, it's simple. And uh, you see a speaker. You have to con probably connect the radio. Um, or your phone good for city use as well there's a plenty of room on your seat to move back and front uh, it's a bit too much for my bum when it's move off you don't feel any weight of this bike very good Oh, it's windy man, it's windy. Don't know whether we need to go this way or not. My camera has gone off. What I've done is I just stopped in the petrol station and then uh, charge it. Senaprasam is pretty quick to charge. I had the power bank with me. I charge them now. Now I'm ready to go. Right. I'm going to Cattle Fiddle Road now, so I'm familiar to this place. It's misty over here. It's going to be more windy on that side, top of the mountain. So we'll see how the weather like. We go this way to Macclesfield. Will be more windy on top of the mountain. So I can feel the wind, it's actually 50 miles speed limit in this area, but I can feel the wind, so I'm not going fast. If it's my GS, I know better about my bike, so I'm just not used to this bike, so I'm not taking any risk. See, you can't see anything, this is what happens top of the mountain. Cameras everywhere, so you have to be careful when you come around this way. Look at that.
the hairpin bends here. You can't see anything what is down there, see? You have to stop somewhere and take a couple of pictures. So when you go down to Manchester or Marcus Field, you see the difference. You go to Manchester, it will be dry weather. Getting clear. Last time when I came here, there was snow on the top of the mountain. Hi friends, I received a call from Manchester Motor Road. Now I am going back to collect my DS after the servicing. They didn't tell me anything on the phone, but I hope there is nothing much to do on my bike. When you're using the cruise control, it's always nice. See, I can adjust the distance actually, so you can see there. They're saying that there's a car in front. But still 70 all right. See, it's coming down to 69, automatically braking. I don't need to do anything. See, it's come to 68. That distance they're keeping actually. It has came to 65 now. Now if I change the track. See, when I change the track, there's nothing in front of me. And it'll go. 70. 
Right, and the car is moved now from the second line and coming back to my line before. Still so says on 70. Good. So there's a car in the front is warning me. It's just so smooth. Appreciate the BMW technology. I hope that will come into the next uh, generation GS as well. Thirteen hundred GS coming out soon, I believe. Right. Even though I set my cruise control on seventy, it's going on sixty-five. I'm not touching the accelerator because car in front. See, as the car go far, it pick up. Yeah, it's, it's back to 70 now, 69, because they're keeping that in a safe distance. And you can adjust the distance as well here, on your left hand side of the bar over here, by the cruise control. That's a good option. But this mirror is excellent. This one has got excellent visibility. See? On the right also you can adjust the windscreen. See it's on the lowest setting, so I can feel the buffeting now. So it's come up now. From there the buffeting is gone and it can go up to that. So basically that height will be alright for me. I never had any issues, never balanced it, never left the bike from my hand, so no accident, nothing. Done about hundred miles if I'm right. GS is a bit more all-rounder and this is more touring and the downside for me is the foot pack and the plastic uh, area covering uh, the engine there's only little space to move apart from that I like the bike and it has got excellent fuel efficiency as well right I'm not far from there see these speakers the waterproof, so you can use that in any weather. Excellent. Build quality is nice. Everything you feel like you're, you're, you're riding a solid bike, premium bike. I think it's a good seat and it's a comfortable seat as well, anyway. Yeah, let's see how it's filtering. Yeah, it's okay for filtering. The only thing is, uh, I'm not used to this. I have to try K1600 and then the Goldwing to comment on this one. It's a bit more cheaper. I don't know how many miles I've done, about, about 100 miles today on this bike. Nice, nice experience of the cruise control. Getting back to BMW. I know this bike is good, but when you stand up, see, you can't stand up on this bike like mine. It's perfect on standing up. This is not an adventure one. But when you're tired on my bike, you can stand up quite comfortably. Right, there we go. My bike is ready there to go.